need more to do. Well, we're not allowed to do any till June, April, May, because of our self-imposed rules and regulations. <coughs> That's fine. And that's really rules and regulations designed to keep us from making too much money by over-contracting the map. It's a little bit awkward. I could adjust the, uh, the GPS track here. Maybe I will. It'll narrow the, the, it'll cause an overlap somewhere in the middle of the field, but to be fair, it, it's not a big problem, I don't think. Forty-one percent complete, and um, we're not even halfway around, well, we're a little more than halfway around. So the, fi the fields on this map, they don't appear to be huge. Um, having the Lexian would not necessarily make things any easier. Partly because the Lexian is just too big for the gates here. Yeah. We do struggle at times with our small fent. But for the most part, we can get most of the fields done. Maybe what I need to consider is a second harvester so we can we can harvest multiple fields at the same time. I don't need a big harvester, I just need I need to be able to do the work faster, but not necessarily with bigger equipment. It's always a challenge, really. Because the idea is you buy more fields, you, you, know, you get bigger equipment because more fields is going to take you longer to process. Um, so bigger equipment is going to reduce the time it takes to do that amount of land. But you do hit a point where you know, you're, the equipment you're looking at is just unfeasibly large for the fields that you're on. But you do have a lot of fields. One way you could do it on this map, of course, is to buy adjacent fields and then chop down hedgerows. Because that would then allow you to... Um, Yeah, this field might not be practical for Alexian, but if I knock down that hedgerow and all those trees and that hedgerow and combine a couple of fields together, you're now getting to the point, maybe that field as well, you're getting to the point where, well, you know what, a big harvester on this big field that I just created is a good plan. So... Yeah, there, there's ways and means, and this, this map does lend itself partly to tailoring the fields to what you're doing, yeah. Not what you're doing, but, you know, tailoring the fields to, to the equipment you have. So if you, if you find you're falling behind, oh, I don't have enough time to harvest all of my crops in three months. Do you get a bigger harvester or do you get another harvester? Well, I might not want a bigger harvester, but if I combined three or four fields together, all of a sudden, well, maybe I do want a bigger harvester because that's just one field to be harvested.
We've already done a little bit of field sculpting. We chopped down some trees, I think, two winters ago. And uh, so last year I expanded the field, the adjacent field, rather than um, replanting the trees. So the trees were in an awkward spot. You had to drive through the field to get to the trees. So in essence, I would want to plant a spring crop in that field so I wasn't driving forestry equipment over a seeded um, patch of ground. Um, or I would need to eliminate part of the field so that I could get forestry equipment to the trees during the winter. We were using winter as our forestry months because there's no, literally nothing else to do on the farm at that point. There's no contracts, there's no... You know, we, we've got animals to feed but there really wasn't much of anything else to get done. So uh, forestry is a valid thing to be looking at. But if you have to drive across a field to get to the forest, then that's bad. That forest over there on the, uh, the other side of the lake is ideal because you can just drive up to a tree and chop it down. You don't have to drive through a field. These trees along the edge here, absolute disaster because you have to come through this field. If this field has a crop in it, well, guess what? You're not going to be uh, chopping the trees down easily safely mm, viably financially viable you shouldn't you say anyway come on tell me i'm done thank you okay that's another field done saving content please wait uh oh actually that's two done well somebody didn't get paid that would be me so next one is field nine, which I believe is somewhere. So we are here. If we go back up that path round there, across there, I think the access is there. Once we've done that, we go down to here. I think we hook round that field, we can get to there. Okay, that looks like the place to go. Let's uh, go drive. Ah, GPS did not disengage. Nearly had a meeting with the hedge, which is probably not a good plan. But yeah, lots of really nice fields around here. And opportunity to knock the you know re-sculpt them into each other which i think is you know something that you could benefit from i don't think our farm is that well set up we do have one big field well we actually we have three big fields along the edge of the map the issue with them is two of them are silty clay so complete garbage for growing much of anything and they're kind of awkward to uh, combine with adjacent fields i think one of them is possible uh, maybe oops raise the boom over the stick and we're good This field's already been done once, so it won't come up again. Shouldn't come up again. I'm not 100% sure that these contracts are remembering the fertilizer level on some of these fields. Because these are all done. You look around here, every single field is double fertilized. We're just finishing off the last one in the area. Um, 
which means that we're using up available fertilization contracts. There won't be many more. Now, some of those I think I lost um, in March just because uh, they all just vanished. Now that we've got lazy, lazy uh, farmers on turned on for fertilization contracts, they will remain. Now, the issue there is, is the fields, if I don't fertilize them, the fields won't get fertilized, which may affect the, the yield. We should still get, if we do a harvesting contract on one of them um, that hasn't been fully fertilized, we probably will get um, a good, you know, good enough yield to complete the contract, but the surplus may not be significant. I don't know. Something that's very difficult to run tests on because you've got to do a test, you want to have a field that has something in it run a contract on that field to harvest and see how much you get based on not having done any of the fertilization contracts on it and then you want to do a fertilization contract and see if the yield changes but you have to reset the field back to i haven't done it yet so it, it's not an easy test i don't think to set up it could be done. I'm guessing you could possibly do it with the um, easy development tools by just, okay, I'll harvest this field, I'll set us back to March, I'll plant the field um, as a contract, I'll fertilize the field as contracts, and then we'll see where we get to. So it might be possible. Um, I hope that's done. I didn't notice the message because I was talking and not paying attention. That's done. Good. Okay, so now we have to do 34. I'm going to turn the lines off for a minute. So, 25,000 money. I don't have any debt. We did, we did borrow money to plough into the power upgrade on the John Deere. Um, but I have been slowly doing just enough contracts to um, get that. I wonder if, excuse me a minute, test for science. If I expand the arms here, it does not tell me if this field has been sufficiently fertilized. It doesn't give me any update. If I'm on a field that has a contract, it will show me the blue and I'll be able to see what level of fertilization the field has, but it will also show me the level of fertilization on the surrounding fields that are within the minimap. In fact, well, there's another test we could do. So I am going to get to field 34, extend the arms, and then I'm going to change the map. How am I doing? Still 300 litres of fertiliser before we are down to our last 2,000 litres. Okay, which way? Turn right <coughs> and turn left. This one here looks to be ours. Let's turn GPS back on. Um, I should... Oh, that's awkward. This edge is angled. But if I expand those... the boom. There we go. Now, let us change the map. So we can now actually see what fields are fertilized, what aren't. Obvious why do we see it? We see our fields as well. So 52 is partly fertilized. That's, oh, that's our grass field, which I said we do need to spray. Um, 51 has something in, 54 and 62 have soybeans in. We haven't fertilized them at all. 
because um, they don't need it. This is, this is all very interesting. So none of the grass fields have been fertilized. None of the third, you know, the, the dudes, um, the NPC farmers, grass fields have been fertilized. But a lot of the fields have been double fertilized here. So we can actually see what fields have been fertilized. So that's good to know if we ever decide we want to do the does fertilization make a difference to uh, contract yield testing. I don't know if I'm going to bother, but yeah, it's a thing I could do. So good job I bought the fertilizer because I do want to go and spray our um, grass field because it is deficient, very deficient, super deficient. It has very, very, very little in the way of nitrogen and it would be nice to uh, maintain the yield and the environmental score on it. I didn't look at what environmental score we're getting for that grass field. It shouldn't have taken too much of a hit because all of the treatment needed on it was good enough and things like nitrogen and pH are updated when you harvest which for a grass field is cut the grass <coughs> and follow that line so a very very tiny sliver on the right hand end here uh, still looking at these feet. So many rocks. And the problem is, is most of the farming we do does not create rocks. So I don't need a rock picker. I've got the shovel, but all of these are big rocks. We have to, you know, if when we, every time we buy a new field, we've got to clear the rocks off. And that's just annoying. Okay, down here. Um, what I might do is take this row, yes. Yeah. That's weird. Um, oh, well, that is change of. I wasn't seeing the change of texture as we took that left turn there, but that's good enough. So I'm not going to worry about that wedge until the last thing. We do 120, 115 liters of stuff before we cut into that IBC that we bought. I'm not, I don't expect us to use an awful lot on the grass. Grass is not a high nitrogen demanding crop. Plus we have the crop sensors, which I will remember to turn on when we get there. I hope. approaching lunchtime so we will probably complete the stream once all the spraying is done on our grass field 76 good see I noticed the message I think the problem is is I notice the white messages I don't notice the green one It's like the clock I have above the information bar at the top right of the screen. It took me ages to find a color that kind of contrasts with almost everything that uh, can be displayed up there. Oops. Part of the problem I've had is it, you, you can have it on the sky 
So picking a blue can be a problem. Picking a white can be a problem because the sky is, you know, because of clouds. But then when you come down to field level and tree level, um, you know, I'll, I'll pick green because of sky. It's a good contrast against sky. It's not a good contrast against fields. The orange kind of works. Um, now on previous versions of farm sim I think you could bold it and that does make a difference I think the problem I have with it at the moment is it's not bold so it's a little bit difficult to see what's happening okay active contract is 96% there's three more fertilization contracts I'm not going to take them now um, although we are as far as the game day is concerned we are just coming up to lunchtime so I've still got the afternoon to do more contracts. We did the soybeans, they're good. Um, I can't spray them for weeds. Well, I'm not going to spray them for weeds until they are um, the weeds appear. So. That's next month, we should get the soybeans all germinate overnight. There we go, turn that off. I can turn GPS off. And we will go and line ourselves up here and get paid for the last time today. So 28,000, that's not too bad. Not great. I mean, I think before I upgraded the track, obviously we've spent 66,000 on the tractor upgrade, which is a shame because it was half upgraded. You, engine upgrades, you always have to pay the full ticket. So do not buy a tractor at minimum horsepower and say, oh, I'll just up, upgrade it by 10 horsepower. Oh, I'll just upgrade it another 10 horsepower because you are playing the full ticket every time you upgrade the engine. If you think you're going to need all of the horsepower, upgrade it to all of the horsepower. Don't go in half measures. The reason I did set it where it was, we did upgrade the engine, but we upgraded the engine from about 350 to about... 385, 390, because up until now we've run Farm Sim 17 and 19, and we haven't needed a tractor that was more than 400 horsepower. We've always needed a tractor that was close. So I always wanted to make sure that I had almost 400, but not quite. I don't need all of the horses. But in this case, we bought that manure wagon. We found we did need all of the horses. And uh, so we, uh, I had to pay to upgrade it a second time. And having done that, it was kind of, I wish I had upgraded it earlier. Okay, well, I'm gonna drive this up to the top here enough room to expand the booms without hitting the hedge if I get to the right hand side of the white line and turn that way and straighten up and back it up so I want to get the boom a little bit further east I don't want to have too much of it dangling over the top edge of the west edge of the field that really doesn't matter. Then I have to think about which way do I want to turn the tractor to get this thing straightened up. There we go. Alrighty, that will do fine. <coughs> so, control this. There used to be... Oh, snap to terrain. Well, maybe a double. On previous versions, there used to be a rotate um, 90 degrees. Uh, 
oh there you go now what I can do is again uh, push that out to the edge of the field like so gauge GPS turn on oh, no don't turn on uh, bring up the help screen and turn on the crop sensor Boop. The crop sensor is on. It can see grass. Now we'll turn. Uh, now we'll, we'll turn it on. Now we'll push that. Now we'll go. Whoops. Now we'll drive and we'll go forwards. And we should get a nice orange colour out the back. Hello, nice orange colour. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be using up. What? Okay, automatic application, yes. Um, turn crop sensor off, no. Adjust dust scale, no. Let's jump out. Um, nitrogen level bad. Nitrogen level bad. This is so weird. Jump in the tractor. Okay, let's fold up the boom. Is this going to be something I have to reset the game for? Stupid thing. Unfold the boom. Make sure the crop sensor is on. Um, turn off crop sensor so crop sensor is on work with is fine nitrogen reference value I got nothing turn it on go drive and we are still at 1904 It's not spraying anything. That is so weird. Deactivate. 12 litres per hectare. I don't even know what grass needs. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to call it here. I'm going to exit the game, reload it, and see if I can get this darn thing working. But I think we've probably done enough fertilization for the day on camera. So, I have the rest of April, I have nothing useful to do on the farm. Um, I do need to be concerned about the food levels and the uh, cow shed, but that's the rest of April. Um, rest of April, let's check cow shed food. We're about 50%, so that's fine. Um, I'm concerned that the cows have to get up to 100% reproduction before they start producing milk again. And if they don't start producing milk after they've had another 30 babies, we're going to have a problem because our cows are making nothing for us. At which point we may as well go beef and sell them when they're valuable. Anyway, so that's cows. Um, I will make it quick call to the store and see what they've got, just the big giant harvester. Um, but I think for... Uh, I think for now we will call it a day. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe. Um, and we will be back next week and it will probably be May and we will probably have a lot of grass contracts to do. But for right now, 
I'm going to wish you all a good week and I'm out of here. Have fun everybody.